Should type 1 diabetics do keto? Traditional guidelines for type 1 diabetics are to eat normal meals with carbohydrates and to take more and more insulin to improve blood sugar control. Type 1 diabetes is understood as a chronic condition. It is caused by the loss of insulin producing beta cells in the pancreas. The immune system is mistakenly attacking and destroying beta cells. Insulin is crucial for regulating blood sugar levels, and individuals with type 1 diabetes must manage their condition. It is done by careful monitoring of blood glucose and insulin administration. Traditional treatments focus on insulin therapy. There has been growing interest in alternative approaches, such as very low-carb ketogenic diets, to manage blood sugar levels effectively. In this video, we outline the use of the keto diet or carnivore diet to get favorable blood glucose control outcomes. The primary goal of a very low-carb keto diet is to minimize carbohydrate intake, leading to lower blood sugar levels. This can reduce the need for large insulin doses and help prevent the extreme blood sugar fluctuations that are common in individuals with type 1 diabetes. When a type 1 diabetic focuses on meals based on protein and fats instead of the traditional carbohydrate-focused meals. In this study, diabetes-related biomarkers were measured throughout the process. Some studies suggest that very low-carb diets may enhance insulin sensitivity, allowing the body to use insulin more efficiently. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals with type 1 diabetes who often struggle with insulin resistance. Massive improvements resulted in this study and finished at the non-diabetic range. Total daily insulin requirements dropped by 70%. The patient also experienced great improvements in his quality of life. See reference 1 for more information in the description. This study demonstrated the possibility of improving diabetes-related biomarkers through dietary changes, which have positive effects on health outcomes in patients living with this disease. Nutrient deficiency is a main drawback of the keto diet. Restricting carbohydrates may lead to a reduced intake of essential nutrients found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. This could potentially result in nutrient deficiencies over time if not carefully monitored and supplemented. There is an increased risk of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Careful monitoring and adjustment of insulin doses are essential to prevent this potentially dangerous condition. Side effects of very low-carb keto diet for type 1 diabetes included keto flu and digestive issues. Keto flu is where most individuals experience symptoms like fatigue, headaches, and nausea. They are usually temporary but can be challenging for those with diabetes. Digestive issues. Some people may experience digestive issues such as constipation or diarrhea when following a very low-carb diet. Adequate fiber intake and hydration are essential to alleviate these symptoms. Main Point Summary The ketogenic diet improved diabetes biomarkers including HBA1c in this patient. The ketogenic diet is a way to reduce the prohibitively expensive cost of insulin. Total daily insulin requirements dropped by 67% adopting a ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is a feasible approach to minimizing the risk of developing complications in diabetics. The patient experienced huge changes in the quality of life after adapting to the new diet. The safe and physiological state of ketosis might be associated with additional benefits for the patient. You need to talk with your healthcare provider before starting a keto diet. By adjusting your diet little by little you may be able to adapt to it much more easily. See the description and comments for references. We would appreciate your comments. Do not forget to click the like button. Thanks very much for watching this video. Up above you see two videos related to health. It will be more helpful to you and your family. See you in the next video.